Hey, Michael from MyRod.com. I mentioned the other day in a vlog, or in fact, our first vlog e ever, that my son and I were gonna do a, a build, if you will, on this gorgeous 67 Mustang S-Code 390 car. And what are we gonna do on that build? Well, we're gonna take a really nice, substantially original car with some old school day two updates and make it a modern day day two car, uh, or what they would call a resto mod. So uh, let's, to get a baseline of where we're starting, we're gonna walk around the car, look at where, what we have today, talk about what we're gonna do, and then if you can follow the series, you can see what we did and how it came out. It's gonna be pretty impressive. So just come look, we'll talk about what we're gonna do on the outside of the car. Not much, car's pretty doggone nice as it is, but come take a look at it. So Tyler has already done the paint enhancement work on a really good paint job. Super straight body. The paint just needed a little love because it hadn't had any love in a few years. So now it looks as nice as it did probably the day it was finished. Very impressive. Um, okay, so we're gonna change the hood. We're gonna, that's, that's the other thing we're gonna do on the outside or one of the other two things. We're gonna take the standard hood and put the really cool optional 67 blinker hood in here just to add that 67 sizzle. And we're gonna change the tire wheel configuration you see currently on the car to something that, that, that the new buyer prefers and it'll look period correct and I think you'll like it as well. Let's look under the hood real quick. So under the hood, you have really an old school day two presentation. Everything performs beautifully just like it was meant to and it really doesn't need to be replaced, but it's old school. So a lot of these components will come off. We'll talk about that in a minute, but let's go to the interior first and then we'll circle back and talk about what's gonna happen here under the hood. Okay, just like the outside of the car, really didn't need anything. The interior is super nice, but let's talk about what we're going to do and why we're going to do it. Well, to start with, we're going to replace all this dash fascia that you see here. The camera case components are original, pretty doggone nice. They have a little patina to be original, but they're pretty nice. And we're going to replace the door panels with the 67 brushed aluminum that was optionally available back then. Here's a couple of pieces staged in the back so you can see what that looks like. They're just beautiful and they just add a whole lot of sizzle that only 67 has. So when the brushed aluminum comes in here, the car will be much more impressive to look at on the inside. We're also gonna put the 67 console in here, which of course means we're gonna remove these aftermarket gauges that are currently mounted in the car. And the radio's gone. Why is it gone? Well, we took it out and we sent it off. We took the original AM radio. It's gonna come back AM, FM. It's gonna be Bluetooth and it's gonna be MP, it's gonna have an MP3 input so you can use it like you would a modern day radio. Tyler will put some new speakers under the dash so it'll sound a lot better as well. In concert with that, we're gonna take all the interior out and put a sound deadening package on the end floor from front to back take a little of the tinny sound out and it just will be a little bit more refined, the experience here inside the cabin. Air conditioning. So we're gonna put modern day air conditioning. This is a non-air car. We'll have modern day air heat and defrost and we're gonna take out of our inventory, our personal stash, if you will, original 67 vents. And so this will look like a factory air car and it won't be aftermarket stuff, it'll be factory stuff. All right, let's look under the hood and talk about some of the radical stuff we're gonna do. Well, quite a bit's gonna happen under here. Uh, I'm not even sure what it'll finish, it'll ultimately look like, because I'm not sure we'll get to keep this original air cleaner because we're going to fuel injection. So we're not exactly sure which system we're gonna use, but we probably will use the uh, sniper system. And we've had some success with that and like that quite a bit. But we'll also put in modern day power steering. The car doesn't have power steering currently. And I think I failed to mention something super important. We're putting a TKO 600 five-speed transmission in there. So the four-speed comes out and the five-speed comes in. Now you've got yourself some long legs for real good highway gear and you can go highway speeds with very, very low revs. We've got some space issues because this 390 takes up a lot of space. So we're gonna try to take out the old headers and put in shorties, something that will work better. Um, and then we're gonna put a front runner system in. So you're gonna have a front runner system, you're gonna have EFI, uh, fuel injection, 
and you're going to have the a different set of headers and modern power steering. We're going to increase the cooling capacity. This is the original, there it is right there, 67 date coated radiator. Very, very, very impressive. But we're going to put an aluminum one in here, a higher, higher cooling capacity. We'll paint it black, black to make it look original. So it's going to look radically different. Um, and we'll try to preserve as much of the Mustang look as we can. We'll just have to see what's possible with this air cleaner. I think that's about it. Tyler, can you think of anything? Nope, I can't think of anything. I may have missed something because I'm just going off the top of my head, but the car will be uh, radically improved and updated, but it will look substantially original until you pop this hood. <laughs> All right, we'll check back with us for the uh, driving, we're going to test drive it to see how it performs just like it is as soon as we get a break in the weather. Sunglasses on, seat belt on. Okay, we're go mode. Okay, we're about out of the neighborhood, and the first thing you notice is you're, you're in a very mild mannered car. I mean, it's not lumpity lumpity lump. It's got a cam, but you don't feel it. It doesn't translate through the car. It's, uh, there's no vibration. It's not, uh, not in any way ill-tempered or bad-mannered. It's just a nice little car. Of course, I know because I've driven it before, and I can tell the thing can run, but it doesn't have to. You can just cruise in it, and I do love that, love that aspect. When these cars are overbuilt, they're just good for one thing, and that's running hard and fast. And, this car seems to be really well sorted at the level that it's at. Nice tight steering, super solid body, no rattling of any kind. Exhaust sounds good too. Okay. Take it up to highway speed, 55. We're there. And let's see, at 55 miles per hour, I'm turning 3,000 RPM, and that'll be good to compare against the uh, five-speed transmission, the TKO 600 five-speed. We'll see what RPM we're turning at 55. And the thing I love about that five-speed is some roads now in America are up to 85 miles per hour speed limit a lot of 70 to 75 and 80 mile per hour speed limits and that five speed will allow this thing to really breathe and get on down the road it, it'll be a lot of fun okay here i'm making a hard u-turn with no power steering it's really not that bad railroad tracks. It's got some torque. It really, it really pulls nice. It sounds beautiful inside this car. I can imagine outside it sounds even better. stops good too. So I'm able to bring it down to a turning speed right here within a matter of seconds so the disc brakes feel really super good. Good car all the way. Okay so that's it for the test drive. So what's wrong with this car? Nothing. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this car. It's perfectly dialed in the way it is. It's been through the right hands. It performs beautifully. So why make the changes? Well, that's the call of the guy that bought it from us, our client or customer, if you will. He wants to make it what he wants it to be. And there's no harm or no foul in that. Why, I myself probably would leave it like this. 
uh, that's his call. And so a lot of people are very interested in the Resto Mod, the modern day reinterpretation of the most iconic car to ever come out of Detroit, uh, or one of the most iconic cars for sure, the Fastback Mustang, in this case, the 67 Fastback Mustang, and in this case, the 67 Esco GT Raven Black Fastback Mustang that came with a factory four speed. Hard to beat this car. Definitely a good car to start with. So what we'll end up with is a beautiful blend of perfection, American classic iconic design with modern day American technology. And I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be very impressive. So stay tuned for the second time we test drive this car. All right, thanks for checking in and uh, adios.